But first tonight, a gas leak at an apartment complex causes dozens of families to be evacuated and rescuers find one person dead inside an apartment. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Glad you're with us tonight. Firefighters say carbon monoxide levels were dangerously high when they got to the Jackson Court Apartments on Church Street this afternoon. This is right across the street from the Amway Center, and it's where News 6's Jerry Askin is live tonight. So, Jerry, do they know how all this started? Eric, you know, they are still working this whole thing, but I can tell you that Orlando Fire just told me this hazmat situation today was discovered at these apartments. After a wellness check, they say when gas was burning on the stove inside of a unit here for more than 24 hours. I like, wow. <laughs> Greg Dupree lives next door to the Jackson Court Apartments here in Orlando. That's where fire crews say one person died and the second person was transported to the hospital Saturday afternoon. I just saw a couple of police cars um, down at um, Division and Church. Fire investigators say a wellness check heater inside of a unit led them to gas burning on the stove they say was left on for more than 24 hours and the person found inside the unit was dead. Yeah, I'm praying for the family, absolutely. Orlando Fire tweeting out these pictures showing the response. Hazmat crews were on the scene after investigators say there were elevated carbon monoxide readings. Firefighters told me this Lynx bus was on hand to briefly house residents from 36 units who had to be evacuated for about an hour. Yeah, and back live here. Firefighters haven't yet released the official cause of death for that person who died here. I'm told the person who was taken to the hospital is going to be OK. Now, I did put a call in to the apartment complex here working to get a you know, a comment from their management company, and we are still waiting to hear back. We're live here in Orlando near the Amway Center. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.